incarceration impacts thousands of people. We have thousands of people incarcerated in Massachusetts, but it also has a ripple effect, right? Those people have children, they have family members, and those families bear the brunt of their incarceration, and it's absolutely disproportionately black and brown families. We have uh, just a little over 20% of the state's population is black or brown, but we have close to 60% of black and Latinx uh, folks who are incarcerated in Massachusetts. This is a population that is still largely dehumanized and uh, forgotten about. Prisons and jails are in and of themselves a public health crisis because of how they're set up and not conducive to preventing spread of disease at any time, particularly during the pandemic. And unfortunately, in a short period of time, 11 incarcerated people in Massachusetts died as a direct result of, of COVID. We also have a lot of medically vulnerable people in our prisons and jails, a disproportionate number. Most people who are incarcerated have some kind of mental health issue. In addition to that, we have a very high number of elderly prisoners, also a disproportionate number of people with chronic health conditions. Things that make someone very vulnerable to death if they contract COVID. Um, despite that many have already served decades of their sentence, we still have not made significant efforts in the state prison system to release significant numbers of people. In our opinion, the way that the state system and many of the counties have dealt with containing the virus inside is by instituting very inhumane practices like solitary confinement where people have been locked in for 23 hours a day, and they were locked in for 23 hours a day for months. We have to remember that this is a practice, a solitary confinement that has been considered torture by experts and by the United Nations itself. It's been outlawed in other places, and we continue to institute this practice here under the guise of being more humane to keep people in such conditions uh, for their protection. But unfortunately, what we've seen on our end is there have been a number of suicides since March across the correctional system in Massachusetts, more than uh, happened last year during the same time period or the year before. So this is something that is very concerning and is not an appropriate way to contain the virus in our prisons and jails. We need to responsibly and very quickly release people because you can't practically socially distance in a prison or jail with the numbers of people we have in there. We're not approaching this in our correctional system in a way that we are in the rest of society. And that is hard to say that it's for any other reason, but that these people are less valued. That's part of the reason why we haven't seen commutations and we haven't seen more proactive efforts on the part of the Department of Correction or the parole board to actually release people because there's been no pressure from uh, the executive branch to do so.